Hello folk, it's me, O'Neal Gerald. For the last eight weeks, I have been doing what I have been calling podcast slash long form video. Hello everybody. While doing it, I found that I was learning a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. These are a little bit more personal and they're helping me on my journey towards um, getting back in front of the camera. I'm starting to realize that getting back in front of the camera isn't necessarily the goal of goals of goals. Getting back in front of the camera is really me fully accepting myself on camera and now that I've had eight times to experience that I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of what I've learned so here's five things that I learned about myself while doing long-form podcast videos thing number one I am an excellent sensitive communicator as I was going through all of the videos and even listening back to them I found that the way that I was communicating was completely and utterly different than what I thought of myself in my head. In my head, I thought that I was convoluted, confused, not really getting across what I need to get across. But I was realizing that as I was watching it, that that is totally not the truth. I love to take my time and communicate. I love to think about the people that I am communicating with. I love to take a step back and expand on information when I feel it may be unclear. Even with um, the Brandy video, the six chord, minor, yeah, yeah, yeah the five. Yeah. I took time to edit it simply because I wanted to communicate effectively and I wanted people to understand where I was going. And I think that that in and of itself is a positive thing. Thing number two, I'm actually capable of meeting deadlines. For those of you that actually didn't know, actually nobody really knew, I was actually giving myself a deadline of posting every Tuesday. And uh, eventually it became Tuesday at 6 p.m. And so what I did is I was backtracking, making sure that I was filming in advance. Sometimes I didn't end up filming in it as in advance as I would have wanted to. I really need to upload this video real quick because it is 5.30. But still filming in advance, uh, listening, giving myself time to listen to it, and then scheduling it on my YouTube channel so that they would drop at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. I realized that regardless of what state I was in, regardless of if I was feeling up, whether I was feeling down, whether I had something to say, or I needed to make up something on the spot. I actually was wondering uh, what I was gonna talk about. I met my deadlines. Okay, I'm gonna have to read this one. Thing number three that I learned from podcasting and doing long form videos is that I know much more than I allow myself to believe that I know and that the knowledge, well, okay, well, Neil, what did you write here? <laughs> I know much more than I allow myself to believe that I know and that knowledge that I have naturally flows out of me. In my craft, in my field as a vocal coach, I can second guess myself and Jedi mind trick myself to believe that I actually don't know anything. And it's really preposterous after seeing the way that I'm expounding on singers, whether it be, um, uh, or expounding on music rather, whether I was expounding on Brandy and talking about her voice. The way that her voice sounds now versus when it, she was 15 are completely different. Whether I was talking about cultural appropriation with um, Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber. I am sick and tired of people of higher wealth being able to co-opt the sounds of countries that aren't as better off financially. I actually have an inner knowledge that I am sharing and I'm not just talking out of my neck. I actually know this stuff and I'm gonna talk like I no stuff. <laughs> okay, number four. This is kind of progressively getting a little bit more and more deep. But yes, I'm sharing. The fourth thing that I learned from my podcasting shenanigans is that I can tell the thoughts that are true from what is not true and that which is true, I speak. That which isn't true, I don't give a voice. And that is powerful. One of the most trippy things about seeing myself in real time unedited is that I wasn't only, because when you guys were watching the videos, you were probably seeing me speak and everything that you were hearing me say was the only things that you were hearing coming out of my mouth, which makes sense, you're not me. But for me, 
when I'm watching back on these videos, I'm literally getting replays of the chaos that was often going through my mind, like I was talking about before, where I would think, you know, that I don't know anything, etc. and so forth. I would literally be getting replays of what I was actually thinking during that time, whether I was anxious, because there are times that I was recording and I was anxious, times I was talking and I was feeling like, you know, I might be saying a little bit too much, and just like all these different thoughts that were convoluting me. And along with those thoughts came lies about those thoughts, whether it was lies that said, you know, you're not good enough, or lies that said, you know, you actually don't know this thing, why are you talking about it? Or you got that core progression wrong, so just stop talking. And I think that's one thing that's great about um, this exercise and what I'm also learning about myself. I actually am passionate about the truth, and I'm very much a realist, and I don't like to live in lies. And being able to hear what I didn't say. I can praise him right there, guys. Wherever you are, just praise him. Sunday! <laughs> Being able to hear what I was not saying, what I did not give a voice to, allowed me to realize that I do have the ability to um, filter through thoughts and to come out on the side of truth and to say what I actually mean and say what is true. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The fifth thing that I learned about uh, my podcasting is that I could reach inside of myself forever. And that's why I need to progress. I'm an introvert, specifically um, if you're talking Myers-Briggs personality type, on a, I'm an INFP, I could reach inside of myself and learn about myself forever, literally. I could think about myself and think about my thoughts and think about me and think about what I what, what happens with me, etc. so forth. I could think about that stuff a whole lot of time. But if I were to do that forever, it would disable me from being able to serve the people that I love. And that includes you, my YouTube fam. Ah, this is a wasp. No, we don't do wasps. Not in here. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No wasps. Uh-uh. No. Where was I? <laughs> I should make my learning about myself onto serving others. So this is the point where I pause. You're not allowed to talk anymore. It's my turn. The reason why I wanted to pause is because this is the part where I tell you that the podcast videos are over. I say something to the extent of, I need to, you know, stop reaching inside of myself so that I can help others. I'm also selfish, etc., and so forth. I was actually gonna continue on in that direction, but then I remembered a comment that I got after I filmed this video, and then another comment, and many other comments that came from you guys um, from the videos that I did, especially the ones where I was a little bit more vulnerable. And I think that this is something I need to continue doing. So this isn't me officially announcing the start of my podcast, but this is the this is me telling you that the podcast is happening. I'm not gonna try and sabotage myself anymore. So yeah, this channel is still about thinking deeply to create art that changes the world. It's just I'm taking a little bit of a detour from my usual content and I don't even know what the content's gonna look like, but I know that this journey is gonna be amazing. So subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all at a later date, hopefully in a podcast video, maybe in another style video. We'll see. Bye everyone.